The tourism industry in the country is on the path to full recovery. This follows improved performance this year after a two-year slump occasioned by the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020. According to Tourism Research Institute acting CEO David Gitonga, tremendous progress had been made and by the end of 2022, the country was at 73% recovery towards the best year numbers of 2019. As speaking during a meeting with hospitality industry players in Embu, Gitonga said that by the end of June this year, the industry was at 92% recovery from the COVID-19 crisis. Alice Diana with more details. Marking World Tourism Day today, the tourism sector is reportedly on the path to full recovery from the shocks of COVID-19 pandemic in 2020. During a meeting with hospitality industry players in Embu County, Tourism Research Institute acting CEO David Gitonga said by the end of June this year, the industry was at 92% recovery from the COVID-19 crisis. He said given the projections, all indications are that by the end of the year, the industry should rebound to the 2019 figures, if not better. In the 2019 reference year, government data shows that Kenya received 1.35 million tourists, with the Tourism Research Institute saying earnings could by the end of the year surpass the 2019 figures if the industry maintains the same high growth trajectory. By the end of uh, 2022, we were at uh, uh, 73% recovery. By the end of June this year, when I talk of recovery, I'm talking of recovery towards the best year numbers of 2019. By the end of June uh, this year, we were at 92% recovery in terms of going back to the best year numbers. So we are making very good recovery and uh, we are confident, like our cabinet sector has been saying, that by the end of this year, we should be somewhere around the 2019 figures, if not beyond. Gitonga has encouraged players in the hospitality industry to embrace ecotourism as an alternative venture to the traditional bed and breakfast business as the government starts putting in place modalities on the carbon credit market. And the climate change conference, the African Climate Summit was a good eye-opener, it was a good platform for the African countries to share their experience because the challenges we are facing in terms of carbon markets are the same challenges the other African current the Af African governments are facing. But I'm sure once we get, and I, I, I know there's good progress from the area of the government and um, the ministry responsible for that, once we get there, we will be able to, it will be one of the ways to mitigate against human wildlife conflict because it will be, it could, it could create other revenue streams for communities that are responsible for conserving our, our our natural areas. Kenya Tourism Board KTB Head of Corporate Communications Wausi Walia said tourism must continue being viewed as an economic activity geared towards improving livelihoods of the community. She noted that the private sector was one of those key platforms that provide the infrastructure for tourism to thrive. The private sector is one of those uh, platforms, it's actually the key platform that provides infrastructure for tourism to thrive. They own the hotels, they own the aircrafts, they own um, the restaurants, they own the bars. They own every other infrastructure that tourism then grows. And so we are here to interact with them, to give them information that is helpful and make, you know, that makes their businesses easier uh, in terms of the various mandates that, uh, that uh, we, are, you know, we, are, we are in. On her part... Kenya Tourism Federation official Susan Ongalo said there was a need for all private sector players under the umbrella of Kenya Tourism Federations to speak in one voice to improve ease of doing business and grow the sector in the country. Mchango has wa Kenya Tourism Federation, a private sector, to kiangalia sisi ndio ambao tunayo ile product. Kwa hivyo tunaweza sema hata tukiangalia nambari wataliwa ambao walifanya kuja nchini mwaka jana tulikuwa tunatoka pale kwa covid kama hatungeongelelea jambo la tourism tukiwa kwa chini ya umbrella na kuambia serikali leteni facilitation ambayo itawezesha watalii watoke kule wanatoka wakiwa na confidence ya kuja nchini kwa hivyo kama hatungefanya hivyo hatungeweza kupata zile nambari milioni mbili na kupita juu Alice Diana Hope TV News Watch